Here I have six selected questions on combination. Watch till the end and see how they are solved. The first question says, evaluate seven combination three. Generally for combination, n combination arrow is n factorial over n minus arrow factorial times arrow factorial. So seven combination three is seven factorial over seven minus the three factorial times three factorial itself. Okay, so this is seven factorial all over seven minus three is four. That's four factorial times the three factorial. This is seven times six times five times. I want to stop at four factorial because of this four factorial here so that they can cancel out times 3 factorial, and 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 can cancel 6. So this is 7 times 5, and that's 35. So 7 combination 3 is 35. That's option A. Question 2 says, evaluate this. What you can see here is 8 combination 3. This is another notation for combination. So this is the same as saying 8 combination 3. And by the combination formula, 8 combination 3 is equal to 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial. 8 factorial all over 5 factorial times what? 3 factorial. 8 minus 3 is 5. 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. I want to stop there because of this 5 factorial at the bottom. Times so 3 factorial. Of course, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So 3 factorial will take away 6. 5 factorial will take away 5 factorial. And so we have 8 times 7. 8 times 7 is 56. So that falls under option B. Question three says, evaluate n minus one combination n minus two. So n minus one combination n minus two is equal to n minus one factorial all over n minus one minus n minus two factorial times the n minus two factorial. Okay, so we have n minus 1 factorial divided by this minus, we enter this bracket, we have minus n plus 2. So n minus n is 0. Minus 1 plus 2 is 1, leaving us with 1 factorial. 1 factorial is 1, so everything here is 1. Then we have what? n minus 2 factorial. Okay, let's simplify that further. We can write n minus 1 factorial as n minus 1 times n minus 1 minus 1, which is minus 2 factorial, divided by n minus 2 factorial. So that when the n minus 2 factorial at the bottom cancels the 1 at the top, we are left with n minus 1. And this option is option A. Question 4. A board has five directors, A, B, C, D, and E. If committees of three members each are to be constituted, how many committees are possible? This is a combination question. Here, we are going to choose three members from five, and that is five combination theory. Five combination theory is five factorial all over five minus three factorial times three factorial, which is five factorial over two factorial times what, three factorial. So we have five times four times three factorial, which is equivalent to five factorial. All over 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is 2. 
Three factorial is they will cancel out. Two here is one, two here is two. So we have ten. So there are ten committees possible in this case. The option is B. Question five. A board has five directors, A, B, C, D, and E. If committees of three members each are to be constituted and A is the chairman, how many committees will involve him? Now, take note of what is here. A is the chairman. That is, in all the committees that will be constituted, A is always the chairman. Look at it. There are five directors. We want to form a three-man committee. Now, if A is the chairman, that means we don't need to choose A anymore. A has been chosen as the chairman. So we have to choose the other two persons that we will add to A to make the three-man committee complete. You get it? So since A is already out, we need three persons, but A is out. That means we now have to look for two more persons. Okay? So we have to choose two more persons from four. Take note. A is out. This is now four. This is now two. So the number of committees that will involve him is the number of ways of choosing two more persons from the remaining four persons available. And that is four combination two. So four combination two is four factorial divided by four minus two, which is two factorial times two factorial. All right? Four factorial is four times three times two times one. Two factorial is two. Two times two is four, so we have six, right? Three times two, six. So, the correct answer is six. That's option B. All right, question six, the last question. A committee of three boys and four girls is to be formed from five boys and six girls. How many committees are possible? So, what we'll do is to choose. We we'll choose three boys from five boys and choose four girls from six girls. It's as straightforward as that. So, choose from the five available boys and we we'll choose four girls from the six available girls. Choosing three boys from five boys is five combination three. Choosing four girls from six girls is six combination four. I'll multiply the results of the two combinations. So this is it. Five combination three is five factorial over five minus three, which is two factorial times three factorial times Six combination four, that's six factorial all over six minus four, which is two factorial times what? The four factorial itself. Okay, so we have five times four times three factorial. Two factorial is um, two times one, two. Three factorial is there. It will eliminate this one. Times, okay, two here is one, two here is two. So we have ten here. Now, this is 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. So that it will cancel this one at the bottom. Then 2 factorial is 2. Alright. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Okay? So we have 15 here. 5 times 2 is 10. So we are having 10 times 15. And that is 150. That is to say, there are 150 ways of forming a committee of three boys and four girls 
from five boys and six girls. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.